All right, so in this video, I wanna speed test VLOOKUP index and match and XLOOKUP functions to see if there is any speed difference. Now, generally, I'm not expecting any difference between VLOOKUP and index match, maybe a little bit because index match is using two functions instead of one, but we'll see. With XLOOKUP with its regular default state, I'm also not expecting much of any difference. But what I'm interested in mostly is XLOOKUP has an option to do binary search. Now, if you're not familiar what binary search means, let me just explain that really quickly here. So for example, if we have a list Now, generally speaking, the way regular search functions work, like VLOOKUP, match functions, they basically just go through a list from top down and check against every single item. So assuming I'm searching for Q, it would just go from the top and search for it, starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finally, over here, it's gonna find that Q. So if we have a long list of items, it's gonna go through that entire list one by one until it either finds a match or it's gonna go through the whole list until the end and it's gonna say, I couldn't find it. Now, binary search works in a different way and binary search only works if you have your search column sorted. Now, in this case, see, I have this value sorted. So when I have sorted data, what we could do when we're looking for, let's say, Q, Instead of going through the entire list one by one, we'll just take this list and divide it in two halves and try to find the middle point, right? So in this case, for example, there is no actual middle point, but it's gonna be either this or this. So we'll just pick one, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll check, is this G, this Q? And if it's not the same thing, then we're gonna check, is it smaller or greater than this Q? Now, if we find that G is smaller than Q, then we know that we should be now searching within this next half. Now, if it was the opposite, we would just go to this first half before that breakpoint. Now, assuming this is gonna be the second half, now we can break this one into two parts and then we can check the middle point again. And in this case, because Q is right in the middle, we're gonna find it in two steps instead of doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even if we have a very large list of thousand items and we need to check a list like that, a thousand, we're gonna divide into two first, we're gonna get 500, then we're gonna take 500 and divide it by two, we'll get 250, and then we'll divide that 250 by two, we'll get 125, and then we'll take that divided by two, we'll get something in the area of 64, and then we'll divide that by two, uh, you get the idea. So if we go through this list like this, we should be able to get there if we have a thousand items in this many steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. The worst case scenario with our regular search would be if we have thousand items is a thousand. So we would go from the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until we go through the whole list. And if it was the last item, we would go through 1000 different items or the same problem. If it wasn't in the list, we would go through a thousand items to find that it's not. So in theory, binary search should improve the performance. Now let's see if that's actually true. And XLOOKUP, the new function from Excel that we have now, actually includes an option to do binary search. All right, so now to do this comparison, I'm gonna use this worksheet. We have this transactions, and in this transactions, if I just scroll down, we have about 800,000 lines, and we also have this customer IDs, we wanna map them and get their gender from this list of customers that has customer IDs and their gender. And as you can see, we have about half a million records in here. 
So now I'm gonna go to this and do a few formulas here for this gender column. And I'm gonna do a VLOOKUP index match and two X lookups. One with binary, the other one the regular. I'll start with the VLOOKUP and I'm gonna be doing array formulas. So there's only one formula to do the whole calculation. So I'm gonna take this lookup and the lookup value instead of this one cell, I'm just gonna select this whole column of customer IDs, just like that, comma. Then we have the table array for this VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna go to this customer's worksheet, select these two columns, do F4 to have this locked in place, comma two to get the second column for gender and comma zero to do exact match. Close parentheses and hit enter and that should retrieve those values. As you can see, it's thinking about it. Okay, so I got those results. As you can see, we have missing values, but we also have some matches here, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna comment this out so it doesn't actually run. And later on, we'll rerun this to see what the speed difference is between this and the other ones. So this was VLOOKUP. Now the next thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do index match. And for that, we'll do equals index. We'll go select the column for return values, which will be column B, F4, comma. Then I have to do my match function. So I'm gonna do match. And our lookup value is gonna be, again, the same lookup values for our VLOOKUPs, this customer IDs in transactions. So I'll just select all of these customer IDs, comma, and then lookup array is gonna be matching customer IDs from customers, where I'm gonna just select this whole column A, F4, comma, zero for exact match, close parentheses, close parentheses. That should be this. I'm just gonna remove this transactions reference from this list because the formula is on transactions tab, just to keep this clean and nice. And I'm gonna hit enter. That should get us those results. Again, it's thinking about it. So again, I'm gonna comment out this formula and move on to the next one. The next one is gonna be X lookup. So this will be the regular X lookup. So we'll do X lookup and lookup value will be customer IDs. So I'll just select this column, comma. Then we have lookup array, which is where we're gonna go to customer's worksheet and select this column A, F4, comma. And then we have what's called return array, which is basically this column of genders, F4, and then just close parentheses by default, this is under exact match, hit enter, and that should get us the same results. Again, it's thinking about it, there we go. And I'm gonna comment out this formula too. So that's X lookup. And the final one, I'm gonna do X lookup binary. And to be able to do binary, we need to make sure that our data in this worksheet is sorted. So just to verify that I'm going to select this. The only thing that needs to be sorted is the lookup column. So customer IDs in this particular case would be our lookup column. So I'm going to go under data and do sort and make sure customer IDs is sorting in ascending order A to Z. Here, I'm gonna do that X lookup formula. And our lookup value again is gonna be the same thing. So this list of customers, well, customer IDs, comma. Lookup array is gonna be from that table, column A, which is again, customer IDs, F4, comma. And then return array is gonna be this gender column, again, F4. So this is where I usually finish this. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a comma and move on. So the next argument optional here, C in square bracket, if not found, I'm gonna skip that one, comma. Then we have the match mode by default, it's exact match, so I'm gonna skip that too, comma. And then the final one, see this search mode. We have this few modes and one of those is binary search sorted ascending order, which is this option two. So I'm gonna do that, close parentheses. 
option two to do that binary search in ascending sorted list, hit enter, and that should give us the results. So at this point, I'm gonna comment this line out too. So now we have just text in the cells. I should be able to just open this and run the formula and we'll try to see about how long that takes. Hopefully with this amount of data, we'll see some differences between these formulas. If I'm not able to spot any difference with, you know, 800,000 rows in here and half a million rows in the other, then I guess practically it makes no difference for us. So I'm gonna go here and take this off and I'm gonna see how long it takes, so. So I would say that took about four seconds. So let's just take this off and let's try to do now index and match. I'm gonna take this off. Probably about the same, couldn't tell any difference. So I'm gonna comment that out too. Now the next one is XLOOKUP with its regular options. Let's open this. I'm gonna take this off. I would say that's about the same. Couldn't tell much difference if there is it's minor. Close this. Now finally, let's see if binary search will actually give us any speed improvement. So I'm gonna go back here take this off. So I think that took less time. So I would say it was twice as fast. I'm not sure if that was just one time thing. We should probably test these one more time here. So this time I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna count, see this blinking cursor, how many times it blinks. I'm gonna take this off. So again, four and a half probably, something like that after I hit enter. So let's do this one. Four and a half again in that area. Let's look at this X lookup. This may be a little faster, I think. It was like four, as far as I could count. Again, it could be just a processor thing. Sometimes it could go a little faster, sometimes a little slower. Let's try this one more time here. So this time I could again count four to five, four and a half. But again, no significant difference between this and these two. Let's take a look at this finally. Let's just take this off and try this again. Yeah, so definitely there is difference when we do binary search. Much faster than these other three. But again, you really have to think about how much data you're dealing with. This particular case is pretty large. See, we have 800,000 rows here and half a million records to search through here, which would probably not happen in most spreadsheets that people use, but it gives you some idea. Now you'll have to weigh whether that speed is worth for you taking care of your data being sorted because you have to now make sure this customer IDs in this customer's worksheet are sorted A to Z for this to work. But if you can justify that improvement in speed, which I guess you could if you had a lot of lookups happening here all over the place. But there you have it. That's our comparison. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.